Eugene, and, and I'm very honored to be here today, and I'm thrilled to see the, the room full of so many people that are engaged and I hope dedicated to this topic, and because you, you are the people who are really greatly going to help us um, get to the point where we um, can really say that we are implementing a vision for Santa Clara, and that's um, you know some of what the, the topic is, and, and, and I think some of what a criticism that perhaps can be said of Santa Clara County, you know, a lot of people it is, you know, do we have a vision for, you know, is there a there there? You know, I came from the high tech industries and people prize themselves on innovation and creativity and a lot of that. And people would come here to visit from around the world to see Silicon Valley, like thinking that they're going to the Emerald City of Oz or something. And I hate to say it, a lot of folks from around the world would say to me like, uh, well, where is it? Where is Silicon Valley? And I say, hey, here you are. Here it is. It's a you know bunch of suburban sprawl with a bunch of tilt-up campuses and clogged surface streets. Um, and uh, you know, we as a, as a native, I don't want to sound too pessimistic or whatever. As a, in someone who's lived here my entire life, so I've seen that change. So. I think as in what we put a lot of our vision and emphasis in one area and now we are frantically trying to catch up into this area that's so important that will help us change how people view this region and how people experience living here, which is perhaps the most important part. I mean, there's a lot of aspects to complete streets and it's, it's connecting into lot, you know, the, all the whole vision of multimodal transportation, which I'm a huge advocate for. And, and, and um, Eugene mentioned that I'm, I like to cycle and I also like to walk and you know I know it's it's often difficult here to to do that or people tell me they're frightened to do that um, and then when we look at our you know uh, transportation alternatives it's you know how are people getting there how, how are they connecting to that transportation um, and when we, we talk about um, what the, the, having the complete street part of that street has to do is is in in, um, in the city of Santa Clara. And I want to thank my friend Kirk Bartan who's been helping us with us. We've been putting a lot of time and effort and, and our planning staff that's here today, to looking at the topic of placemaking. Um, and obviously, a huge piece of that is our streets. And so obviously, we need streets to get people to where they're going. But it's kind of like, what is their experience while they're getting there? And if they are stopping along the way to enjoy life, does that street lend itself to that? Is it conducive to having a more complete experience of community, of life? And, and I think people are clamoring for that. As much as we're all connected electronically, we still need to be connecting as people. And I think that this whole, you know, a notion of creating a vision for Santa Clara County along the lines of having a complete street, a real movement in that direction has to be not just how do we efficiently move people through transportation corridors, but how do we help them, how do we really create a better way of life for people? And, and that's a lot to, to, to put it, the feet of the people in this room who are are leading us in a planning effort and you know and on a day-to-day -day basis making decisions which small little decisions can in aggregate really impact a larger experience of life and you know one of those things very definitely is the safety aspect as i mentioned earlier and i know that in santa clara with our bicycle pedestrian committee you know, we're looking at what would it take to adopt something like Vision Zero, you know, where we could say that people truly can be safe walking and riding their bikes, and what will it take? I mean, you see the pictures here that are in the in the um, the, the the visuals, and all, you know, we need to look at how you know how do we all have to change what we've been doing to accommodate that? And I was just talking to one of our staff people. Debbie Fernandez as I came in and, and, and looking at the reality of like in the city of Santa Clara, our municipally owned utilities, which we're very proud of and I, I work on a lot of those issues, is you know how do we accommodate, how do we all together within government work together to facilitate the creation of complete streets and not just all sort of each blocking each other 
from our function. So I think part of the vision is we all have to share that vision and we have to be looking across whatever, you know, our particular silo or channel because you know, the, the, the word is complete. And so that we have to have kind of a more, com uh, we have to lend ourselves to having a more complete view. So we, I am here as an elected official representing the city of Santa Clara, but I'm here also to represent the entire community of Santa Clara County, the, the board of ETA, your policy makers, your elected officials want to hear from you. You're the experts. I'm thrilled that you're making time, and I know your schedules are very busy, to come and hear about this topic today. And it's like in, in sessions like this, when you're here with your peers and your colleagues, that a lot of the, um, the, the insights and the new ideas will come. And I'm hoping that you will really learn a lot today that you can take back and start bringing those thoughts to the policymakers and the elected officials in your communities to say, you know, uh, you know, it, where in the company that I came from, one of our big taglines and thinking a lot for years was, well, what if, dot, 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 well, what if we did this? And so today I hope, I'm hopeful that you will gain insights and tools to help you on that, that process towards, well, what if we really wanted to create communities that are walkable, that people can cycle, that people can have a, a more healthy, and happy lifestyle here in uh, what a lot of pe people view is now kind of like the center of the, of the, of the world, really, in, in many ways. So on that note, I would like to get our workshop started, and I'm very pleased to introduce to you Emiko Atherton, the director of the National Complete Streets Coalition, who will get us started on our agenda today. Thank you. That was, I was like, 